Okay then. Hello everyone. Galactic Storm here. Welcome to the show. And today, it's going to be another Command Conquer Rivals deck. This one, again, coming from Nod. I've been doing a lot of Nod decks lately. Well, it's probably just because of GDI. I've been more uncomfortable with GDI for some odd reasons. Uh, it just seems like a lot of the decks that I've been trying to do, well, they just they just don't work well compared to the flexibility of Nod in that. And another deck just somehow just catch to my eye. And I wanted to give it a nice little shot until realizing its full potential. Tried a few decks out and then just coming out with its final form. So we're going to be talking about this deck. It's a, well, I would say it's somewhat standard to the uh, aggressive deck, but with just a few twists. Instead of just one unit, it's going to be this other unit. Instead of aggressiveness, we're going to be using flat out defense while just trying to be aggressive at the same time. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a nice deck. I've been getting a lot of wins lately with this thing. And I hope you guys enjoy this deck as much as I do. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first uh, deck that I recommended was this one. Well, I just wanted to make it more different and I thought the shade would work really well with uh, vehicles in that first. And then just use the buggy for my, my more anti-infantry and sometimes anti-air approach. Well, unfortunately, when I deal with earlier vehicles in that, the shade is going to be one of the more expensive units to get. So that really didn't work well. And with the anti-air, if I had like banshees or that, buggies really couldn't compete. So I had replaced them with this one. Uh, instead of the buggy, we have the attack bikes. And then instead of, well, the shade, we have the venom. And the venom is good until you deal with multiple missile squads. So I made one final edit, and I just made it with the Catalyst Gunship. So let's uh, go through them real quick. The first one, obviously, Hand of Nod, you should go for there first. With the Militants, the Scout take on the Infantry. And then for the uh, for the vehicles and aircraft earlier, uh, we're going to be using the Laser Squads. And if you have like multiple aircraft or uh, vehicles coming by, or, or even infantry, just get two of these things. And they'll work nicely. And second, well, we're, well it depends. Uh, if you want more anti-infantry capabilities, go for the air tower. But we're gonna go to the uh, we're gonna go for the war factory next. The attack bikes they're good for sneaky uh, harvester rushes, but they're more used for taking down vehicles and aircraft that your laser squads can't really kill. And yeah, they're, they're they're really good on that on that job, and they're cheap too. And then our main punch is going to be the Tick Tank. The Tick Tank, compared to Scorpion Tank, is frail while on the move. But uh, once it's dug in, well, this thing is going to be harder to dislodge. Uh, it basically has the same health of that of a tech unit. Like, for example, I would say the closest, I would say, is a Centurion. Or a Widowmaker or, you know, a, a Wolverine. But these guys have the same punch of that of a scorpion tank. So they can take down a good amount of vehicles, but they will have problems with ranged units, aircraft, and infantry. So they should be accompanied by whatever uh, unit that you have and whatever the enemy is throwing at you. So you should use these things for holding down the pads and making sure that they never turn the opposite color. And then for infantry, we are going to be heading for the for the air tower. And it's good for aircraft, too. So, uh, first off, we have the Catalyst Gunship to deal with infantry that are going to be a huge pain in the ass for you. So they can take down multitudes of missiles and laser squads, or even shockwaves and that, and they'll be able to kill them very quickly. After continuous shots, they'll fire a gas grenade, and the fire and once it fires at, at the gas grenade, where the tile is, I'm sorry, um, it will explode, and it will kill basically everyone that is in that group. It can also destroy, um, like, vehicles and that, like pit bulls, or, like, attack bikes, cyber wheels, those lot. 
but they will do damage to things like tanks and they'll do not much damage when it comes to Templar tech units. And plus this thing will fall pretty much fall apart if they're dealing with some of the units from the tech lab and that. Or things like slingshots. But uh, the Catalyst gunship has the same health of that, I would say, of a Mohawk gunship. So it can take some punishment. And then lastly, uh, when you're dealing with aircraft, you have the Phantom. UCs destroy uh, like Basilisks, Kodiaks, Infernos, Orca Bombers, or anything that is going to be a pain in the ass in the sky. So the Phantom is going to be an expensive use, but hey, it's worth it. And uh, uh, for the object of this game, or for this deck, well, grab onto the deck, or grab onto the pads really quickly. Start uh, harvesting and do harvester rushes on uh, some of the units when it's right. And then, uh, once you have enough money, grab a tick tank and just grab it onto the pads and make sure that they're accompanied to whatever the enemy's throwing at you. And then for commanders, I have two choices. Oxana, you can use it to, well, you can rush uh, a tick tank onto the pad real quick, but it will sacrifice um, some of that health in return. And they're good with the attack damage in that. The other one is Seth. The Seth um, is one of the, uh, the commanders that I've never really used up until this point. So Seth uh, is really good with stealing pads and you have a flame trooper squad coming in within the nick of time. So if you have infantry going on that opposite pad or that, use these to take them out and, that, and secure the pads while you're at it. This thing, well, this ability gave, gave me a lot of victories, and I was very happy of the results. So, if you're leaning for a more um, for a commander, I would say Seth, from with my my point at least. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video and that. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and be sure to look at my Facebook page down below. And for the next episode, well, I'm probably going to do a sneak peek of episode 12 of Redemption. And until then, Galactic Storm saying, keep charging, bitches, and for fuck's sakes, stay safe.